adjunct professor at Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude. Dan, good morning. So October typically is a busier month for theme parks. Goldman Sachs saying that Disney's closures could cost the company up to $200 million in lost earnings. How is the parks going to make their money back? Well, it's going to be tough, but you have to look at this, not just they have to close for a period of time because the storm is arising. You have to look at how bad is this going to be afterwards? Everybody's talking about this has the potential for enormous damage beyond Katrina, where that was the costliest hurricane ever at $170 billion. So we don't know what's going to happen, but what we do know is Florida's going to take a hit, and that means a lot of people that would normally travel there are not going to be making that trip, and these theme parks are going to suffer accordingly. PepsiCo is now also lowering its sales forecast because consumers in both the U.S. and China, they're just drinking less soda. They're eating less snacks. It's been a rough couple of months for the company. Back in June, PepsiCo lost its spot as the number two soda. To this surprise me, Dr. Pepper. Plus, a number of recalls have cut into profits. So how does Pepsi start to boost their sales? Let me start off by saying this. I actually love Dr. Pepper. But <laughs> as, it pertain, as it pertains to Pepsi, they have a few challenges here. One, do not discount the impact of these weight loss drugs and, and what they're doing to the snack market. So Pepsi is probably taking somewhat of a hit there. Now, the other uh, item related to recalls you know when you have recalls on food it's not the same as when it's a car which people have kind of gotten used to that when you talk about recalls on food that concerns people and they will stop buying those products so pepsi's got some challenges ahead for sure interesting that your mind went to weight loss drugs because mine went to the trend of going more towards healthier sodas i personally pick up poppies every time I go to the grocery store, even though I am a Diet Coke girly at heart. But I wouldn't have even thought that you're right because the weight log drug trend is so is so big right now. S similar topic along the lines of food. McDonald's is filing a lawsuit against the country's largest meat packers, accusing them of colluding to illegally inflate beef prices by limiting supply. Is this true? Do you think we will see more restaurants join in on this lawsuit? I think it is likely, and let me say this: this has happened before with the with the uh, meat providing companies, and there have been settlements. So there is a track record here. And who suffers? The consumers. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining and concerned about the pricing in these fast food restaurants, like McDonald's. Well, when you have collusion among suppliers. What's going to happen there is it means prices are going to go up. So I hope this gets resolved, and I hope uh, the meatpacking companies are not going to continue to do this. I hope so, too. But even if it doesn't get resolved, Spirit Halloween stores, they're saying it's fine. Skip the turkey. They'll be shifting from scary straight to merry this year. After Halloween, the company plans to transform 10 of its locations into Spirit Christmas for the holiday season. Do you think the company will be able to sell more sleigh bells than skeletons? Skipping Thanksgiving, uh, though. Well, listen, I think this is a great idea. <laughs> and, and Spirit is trying this out in the New York tri-state area. So it's not across the board to see, hey, how does this work when we make the jump from Halloween into Christmas? We already have these stores set up. Let's see how it goes. So I actually believe that this is going to be a successful campaign for Spirit. We'll have to see. Dan Gulcher, thanks for coming on. Thank you.